Hey kids, welcome to unit two, lesson five, user inputs, exercise number three. This is a fun one today, kids. Well, let's look what we're doing. In my console.java, we're gonna instantiate a scanner object called input. We've talked about this a bunch. We know how to do that. We're gonna write a method called print sum. And we're gonna prompt the user to enter a number and use the input.nextInt line to get their input. Don't forget to store their input in a variable. Prompt the user to enter another number and use the input.nextInt to get their input. Print the sum of two numbers and use the close to close the scanner object. And it looks like we have a little show me how there. Over here, looks like they gave us a class called calculator. Looks like we have a bunch of instructions. And in my console, we have a new object, myCalc, which is of the calculator class. And then we're calling that object on that print sum method that we have to write. And the parameter it's gonna take is an input from the user. Let's go ahead and get started. We're importing our scanner class right here. We're creating our class calculator. Looks like they wrote the method signature for print sum and it has a scanner as an input. We need to get the first number. And if I remember back to the last couple of lessons, the first thing I have to do is actually ask the user to do something. So we have to use our system.out.print and that's gonna be system.out.println and then we're going to enter the first number like that and don't forget your semicolon. That'll flash up on the screen. Next, I have to create a variable to store what the user is gonna input. And that's going to be an integer, because it's a number. And I'm just gonna call it first to keep it simple. And that is gonna be equal to whatever the user inputs for that entire line. Well, that's it. Now we have to get that second number. So we're going to do the same thing, system.out.println. And we're going to do enter the second number. Don't forget your semicolon. We have to make a variable to store that. It is going to be of the integer type. We'll call it second. And we want to get the input from the user all the way to the end of the line. Next, we have to print the sum of the two numbers. Well, that's not too hard. I have to create another variable to store that. So it's gonna be an integer because it's going to be a whole number. We'll call it sum, because that's what it is. And that is just gonna be equal to our first variable plus our second variable, and that's it. And then, we want to print off whatever that sum is. So we're going to do system.out.println and we're going to say the sum is, and then we're going to concatenate. So we're going to go plus, and then we're going to call the variable sum. Then we're going to close the scanner class, input.close. That means when the print sum method is called right here, we're going to get enter the first number to print off on the console, and that's going to be stored as first. Then, as soon as that is done in the console, we're going to get enter the second number, and then that's going to be stored second. Then, we're going to create a third variable sum that's just going to add the two, and finally, it's going to print the sum is and whatever that number is. I'm gonna capital T here, kids. Finally, we close the class. Let's clean that up. And you know how I like to write end of class here. Let's head over to my console.java. 
And we still have to instantiate a scanner object that's down here. Let's tab over. And we're going to do this just like we create any other object. It is of the scanner class. It's going to be called input. It is going to be new and of the scanner with the parameters of system dot in. And all that is, is just a keyboard input. I already gave us the code down here. When I hit run, I should be prompted. Let's see if I'm right, kids. Enter the first number. We'll go with one. Enter the second number, two. The sum is three. I do want you to note that my number input came down here. I can fix that by just going over and eliminating the extra line here for the next part of the input. I think that'll clean it up just a little. Let's see if that does. First number, one, one, and the sum is two. A little cleaner, a little tighter. I like it like that. Key takeaways from this lesson, kids, is really understanding how we apply what we've already learned to new concepts. I used all of the things that I learned from my painter class, how to create new objects, how to write methods, but this time I applied it to a scanner class. And kids, again, if you've made it this far and you still don't know what any of that means, and you're still really confused in the documentation, please head over to the scanner under Java Utility and read through the methods. I think once you read these, it'll make a lot more sense. And if you don't wanna read it, I really encourage you to go to exercise one and listen to that video. We really went through the entire documentation there. Hopefully kids, you found this video helpful in understanding how to get user inputs. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise kids, I'll see you on the next video. See you later kids, bye, bye, bye.